Staying with North Korea, and uh, South Korea's defense ministry has set the record straight on how many missiles North Korea fired into the East Sea last week. It turns out the regime fired three, not one, as it was previously announced by Seoul. Kim Hyun-bin reports. North Korea fired three surface-to-air missiles last week, two more than was initially announced by South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff. The military said they were not mentioned because they quickly fell off the radar. We did not reveal information on the two additional missiles because they disappeared from radar after only a few seconds and flew a very short range. North Korea fired off an anti-aircraft missile last Friday from South Hamung province that traveled around 100 kilometers toward the East Sea. The two missiles that followed were believed to have exploded in midair. Since new sanctions were placed on North Korea last month, there have been growing signs of protests from the regime. In a recent report by U.S.-based monitoring site 38 North, more suspicious activity has been detected at the North's Yongbyon nuclear plant. Satellite imagery shows exhaust plume from a thermal plant at the complex's radiochemical laboratory, where spent nuclear fuel rods are reprocessed. The exhaust was detected in the last five weeks. We are well aware of the 38 North report, and we are looking closely into the situation. The Yongbyon reactor provided weapons-grade plutonium to the regime for its previous nuclear tests. North Korea has so far conducted four nuclear tests, one in 2006, 2009, 2013, and earlier this year. Some experts say there's a possibility Pyongyang could carry out its fifth nuclear test in the coming months. Kim Hyun-bin, Arirang News.